Welcome back. In the next two video lessons, we're going to talk specifically about energy, where horses get them in the diet, and how they use it. Now, whenever I talk energy and nutrition, I always like to talk about our automobiles because it, it's easy to make a correlation with that. When you go and either fill up your gas tank or today charge your car, you're filling up the amount of energy it needs to move that car. And when horses eat each and every day, they're filling up their gas tanks. They're charging their batteries and they have an amount of energy they need every day to survive and do the things we ask of them. Now, when we look at the energy in the feet of a horse, it is very critical for things like growth, growing hooves, growing hair, growing muscles, or in the young horse. Very, very important. In day-to-day -day maintenance, horses need energy, brain function, heart function. Then they also need energy for reproduction. So a mare gestating a foal takes some extra energy, but then lactation. Wow, that takes a lot of energy to produce enough milk for that foal. Then exercise, simple trail ride, or if we go to the extremes of endurance racing or thoroughbred racing, that takes an incredible amount of energy for that horse to propel itself. And then just things like digestion, digesting food takes energy. You know, the digestive system needs to contract and do everything it does. And that takes energy. Now, looking at a top down view of the equine diet, we can break this down into macronutrients, which means they need a lot of per day, like kilograms per day or pounds per day. And then micronutrients, but they, they need a much less like grams per day. Now, you can imagine a horse needs to drink a lot of water. So that's a lot, a lot of amounts, but then they also need carbohydrates, fat, and protein. Now our vitamins and minerals, they don't need as much each and every day, but they're just as important for bodily function. So we, we've always got to remember horses need those in their diets as well. But in this talk, we're specifically focused on energy. So horses are going to get energy from their carbohydrates, and then they'll get some from fats and then some proteins. Now, when we look at the equine diet, what they naturally eat, forage, that should be the foundation of every horse's diet, the majority of that is carbohydrate, up to 85%. Now, when you think of carbohydrates, you might be thinking of pasta, bread, and not what's in, say, salad. But in the horse diet, fiber, that's a carbohydrate. So that makes up a lot of what they get each and every day as far as energy. It's not simple sugars or starchy meals. It's actually the forage, the fiber, these complex carbohydrates. We're going to talk a little bit more here in a second. They also would get about 10% protein and then some fat and then their vitamins and minerals. Now talking specifically about carbohydrates for horses, because the horse is consuming so much forage, and it's getting a lot of carbohydrates, it's a good idea to understand how the plants make it. So through photosynthesis, the plants will combine carbon dioxide and water and make sugars and release oxygen. Now in the plant, glucose and fructose are the two simple sugars that they will make, but generally those aren't in high amounts within the plant. The plant will actually combine them to make things like starch and store it for later use for when the plant needs it. The plant will also make other complex carbohydrates that gives it its rigidity and structure. So things like cellulose. And if you can imagine a long stalk of grass, that long rigidity that sometimes bends in the wind, but that's due to its fiber or these carbohydrates. Now, simple sugars like glucose and fructose aren't naturally in the horse's diet, but Horses can get this with treats or with feeds that are high in molasses. Now we are getting away from that because now we know horses do not do well with high simple sugar diets in their guts. And then likewise, starch, which you see high in grains, corn, barley, uh, that are easily digested in the small intestine, they produce these simple sugars, but again, can be leading to some problems because like if we get too much starch in the hindgut, that will disrupt the microbe population and can impact fiber digestion. And that leads me to fiber as an energy source and how important it is to the horse. 
Fiber as a carbohydrate, complex carbohydrate, is high in the diet of a horse. As they feed forage or pasture, they will get high amounts of fiber. And this goes on to that hindgut that we've talked about, where there's trillions of different microbes that can digest this fiber. So when we talk about fiber, we say it's non-digestible, but fermentable. And that means the microbes can ferment it and produce these things called volatile fatty acids, which the horse uses as energy. Again, filling up that gas tank or charging that battery. Now, the volatile fatty acids are critical to our horses. Up to 70% of their daily energy needs are met by this fermentable fiber in the hindgut. And that is why we always start with fiber or forage when we look at what we're feeding our horses. Now in the volatile fatty acids, there's three, acetate, propionate, butyrate. Acetate's the big one. This is the one that is readily absorbed by the horse and used for energy where propionate is absorbed, but then goes to the liver and makes glucose. And then butyrate is one that's used in the digestive tract for the cells. So all three are very important, but the take home message is this fiber is critical in the source as a source of energy for the horse. And it's these volatile fatty acids. So when we look at the complex carbohydrates and forage, you can see the vast majority of it. 75% is this non-digestible, but fermentable. Okay. That's the key piece that those microbes in the hindgut could go after it and produce these volatile fatty acids. 20% of it is digestible. So that means the horse can pull nutrients out of it. And then 5% is this, we call it lignin, non-digestible that the horse passes on in their feces. When we compare that to grains, we see grains are 90% digestible, readily digestible by the horse. 9% of the grains, there's fiber in there, part of its structure, those hindgut microbes can utilize that. And then about 1%, again, the grain structure isn't digested and is passed on in the feces. So that gives you an idea of where horses are getting energy in their diet. Again, to recap, it is forage, this fiber, these complex carbohydrates that go to the hindgut that are fermented and provide the horse with that gasoline or charging that battery. So we're going to continue on this discussion in the next lesson. So look for that.